Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Are you an inspiring entrepreneur? Or maybe you're an entrepreneur looking to take your business to the next level. My name is Larry W. Brooks, and I am the author of Empowering Quotes for the Entrepreneur in You and the Entrepreneur Code. In these two books, I guarantee you there's success secrets that will take your business to the next level. I personally invite you to visit LarryWBrooks.com. Go under the books link and purchase your signed personal copy from myself. You have a great day and have an awesome 2020. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in our lovely city of Houston, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you this week, man. We have a really exciting episode planned. The Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, is away on assignment this week, so we have a very, very special co-host, a wily veteran, someone you've seen here on the Prime <laughs> Real Estate Network before in the past as a guest yeah. and as a co-host. So I want to thank her so much for sitting in as a co-host with me this week. She is the managing partner of Trust Tulsa Insurance, powered by Goosehead Insurance. She is Miss Kristen Olivier. Pope, how you doing? Hello, hello. Thank you for having me back. I'm doing great today. It just feels so good to be back out in the world right. um, after this mm -hmm. pandemic. And I'm so excited to host this episode, especially because <laughs> of our guests. Right. And they have a very special place in my heart. And um, I know everyone's always happy to see me, too, because I'm a much better looking host than Larry Brooks. Thank you so <laughs> much. And it's always an honor and a pleasure to have your aura and energy sitting in the co-host chair. But I must ask, we haven't had the um, pleasure of having you sit in on the Prime Real Estate Network podcast in about maybe six to eight months. Yeah. So what's been going on in the world of Trust Tulsa Insurance? Man, we're just growing. I mean, we're just growing. We're so blessed. We have so many wonderful referral partners, mm -hmm. lenders, realtors, investors, such as our guests today, mm -hmm. that just really trust Mark's Tolson and myself, and we were able to get a lot of um, referrals, and we're really helping a lot of people. Um, the storm season has been insane. Wow, I mean, right. last year we had 28 <clears throat> named storms in the Gulf, which is a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. And even before our hurricane season just officially started June 1st, and you can know already that we've seen a lot of rain, you know, right. a lot of storms. So we are just really focusing on making sure people understand um, their homeowners insurance coverage, understanding, you know, what the risks are, and understanding, you know, what they need to do to protect themselves and as well as their primary homes and their investment properties right and there's no one that we would rather have sitting in especially on today's episode because what we want for all of our viewers and members of the audience to gain from today's episode is who they can go to as experts as far as real estate investing and how to ensure those investments so uh, yes. thank you so much for sitting in with us I don't want to waste any more time because we only got these gentlemen for approximately 26 minutes so I would like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience our guest this week. These two gentlemen are real estate investment experts like no other. They have not only educated, but they also have assist countless numbers of investors in getting their career in real estate investment started. Mm -hmm. So I want to introduce the founders of Home Buyers Texas, Mr. Robert Destin and Mr. Tony Bryant. How you doing, How gentlemen? Thanks for being here. Hey, look, yeah. man. Now. You've been to the studio before, man, so I, I want to thank y'all for sitting into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. Uh, I'm really excited to have you gentlemen sit in. So my first question that I want to have for you all is, what motivated you two gentlemen to not only found your company, but also partner with each other? Um, I can go. Um, so Tony and I and, and myself have been friends for a very long time since high school, okay? And uh, I think Tony was a grade below me. 
but uh, Tony's energy and, and my energy has been on the same wavelength for a long, for a long, long time. I think uh, Tony came up with, uh, he, he owned a record label, and uh, I was helping him push that record label. This was right after high school. Mm -hmm. So uh, we was partnering on that. Uh, I think we, we had a rapper come to, to the neighborhood. It was a bust, mm -hmm. but we partnered on that. Um, and ever since then, we've been partnering on different things, and, um, and, and we just kind of came together from there and formed this team, and uh, Tony's had some... Uh, very good success uh, in real estate, right. and I was a real estate agent as well. Oh, wow. So it just made sense that we came together uh, probably about three years ago mm -hmm. and start to build a team uh, kind of like we did. And I want to ask For you this, sure. Tony, because with Home Buyers Texas, what is it that you and Robert <clears throat> founded that company to do for the public? What is uh, it that you guys think? So primarily, it's it's a it's a, we do real estate wholesaling investing. Um, now we've kind of digress excuse me kind of progressed into other areas you know we buy we flip houses i loan money to other developers oh, wow. um so you know we kind of do every facet of real estate you know right. he like he said he just got his broker's license out he didn't mention um yeah. so we're about to <laughs> right a <laughs> like, team of agents oh, that's what i'm well. talking about bro so yeah we we truly do real real you know real hardcore investing and we um not only that we 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 hold classes Right. You know, um, we also travel and speak. He's just about to speak next weekend at a bit event in Miami. You know, right. it's all primarily real estate related. So um, we just try to encompass everything we do mm -hmm. as far as real estate. You know, real estate has allowed me to. Um, I, I own some restaurants in Houston, some clubs, um, into trucking, own dental offices. So I'm I'm in a lot of different businesses. Mm -hmm. um, See, they have my insurance on some yes, things. I am, <laughs> I am his just, broker as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just paid a nine thousand dollar premium yesterday. I was like, Marcus, come on, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's all good. No, right. But uh, real estate's been good to us. I mean, and you know, we saw an opportunity to you know open it up to other folks that that were either didn't like their job or wanted to get into real estate. You know, there's so many folks that just want to do something more but don't really know how. And, and, and that's what I, I want to ask you yeah. about. You know, that's the big thing right now in, in real estate. Everyone's talking about buying homes, flipping homes, Airbnbs, investment properties. So with y'all's company, you all are able to bring people in and show them how to do these things, how to start making money through investments? Yeah, so definitely. So what we do is offer uh, classes that we've been teaching for about, uh, about two years now oh, wow. yeah. that will teach the investors uh, actually how to – go out and find the properties for themselves. The hardest thing in, in, in investing is finding the property. <laughs> right. Because it's such a competitive market right now and finding those properties that you can actually uh, flip and make money. So uh, the fi the, that's what we teach in our classes is finding those properties for the investors. So And they can come to us for the properties because we have the properties as well and house the properties in our, in, in our office. Oh, that's awesome. Right, and I want to ask you this, Robert, because um, to be a successful real estate <coughs> investor, you don't necessarily need to educate the public. Um, a lot of the people that I've met who are professional educators, those who have chosen to take education up as their field of expertise, <laughs> there's usually a love for giving. There's usually mm -hmm. more of a selfless nature involved in that. So what is it that you saw in the market as far as real estate investment that you thought was inequitable? that you felt like it was important for you to educate your people on how to get involved and play that game? Well, I was a principal Oh wow! for years. Um, uh, I was administrator at Crosby High School and uh, a couple of other schools. But as a principal, I saw a need uh, of teaching entrepreneurship, uh, especially to our young black males. It made sense to me. Right. Okay, Now, that opened the door <clears throat> for teaching to everybody, but we started uh, – I started my journey because I wanted to empower um, the young black males that was less fortunate and didn't have the opportunities mm -hmm. that the others had. Right. So w with that being said, uh, that was a, a big thing for me right. to be able to empower them. You, that makes sense? Absolutely. Well, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, because um, today's episode is entitled Investing in Texas. Mm -hmm. And what I love about having you two gentlemen sitting on the panel today and also with Kristen is that you guys are in the trenches every day finding properties, wholesaling, building, flipping, meet with contractors. Could you explain to our audience, and this is for you, Tony or Robert, mm -hmm. right. 
What <clears throat> is making Houston, Texas such a hotbed for real estate investing right now? Just for the people who don't live out here and who don't I mean, know. just just Texas in general, you, yes, know, sir. They, you know, versus cost of living is one. You know, versus we have a lot of investors from California, mm -hmm. New York, mm -hmm. where, you know, it's it cost of living is extremely high there, yeah. right? So, uh, you know, and plus there's more land here. Absolutely. There's more land. Uh, there's a lot of multi-development being, you know, mm -hmm. developed here in Houston. Um, it's just a great opportunity. You know, it, I mean, I, don't, I, I think we're right around the surface of four to four to six million, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in the city of Houston and around. You know, Houston I think, proper, absolutely. Yeah, right. So, I mean, we're, we're consistently growing as far as population. Folks are wanting to come here because of the weather. I mean, there's a number of different things of why folks would want to come to Houston or specifically Texas. Especially in investing in this area. It's, it's just it's such a boom right now. It seems like in the last 18 to 24 months. Right. You mentioned earlier that um, – Robert, you'll be heading up an educational conference in Miami shortly. Could you speak to our audience about that specific event? Yeah, sure. And why everybody in and around Dade County need to be flocking to that event, man. <laughs> Definitely, man. So I hooked <laughs> up with a guy, a uh, big business out of uh, Philadelphia. If uh, Y'all follow my guy, uh, at Big Business um, on his Instagram. But hooked up with him, um, and, you know, he wanted me to come in and speak at his workshop. So, that's what we did. He his he hold conferences all the time, like every other weekend that are huge. He has a huge following. And uh, you know, he has a love for giving as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it was just it, it was just right on time that me and him hooked up. It, it was God that went we hooked up like we did. Um but regardless of that, he definitely um has a love for people and he wants to see people succeed. So He's going to be giving a lot of game in Miami mm -hmm. um, this weekend. So if y'all want to tap in, tap into his page, go to his bio. But he's going to be giving a lot of game. I'm going to be on stage giving a lot of game Absolutely. on how to acquire the property for the investor. Right, so, because one of the things is for those who can't make it to Miami, and, you know, it's almost the summertime, so if you can get that flight, go ahead and make that happen. But for those who's going to follow you online, could you talk about your guys' website, your social media handles and how people can make sure that they follow you not only this weekend but in the future. Yeah, so I'm Mr. <laughs> underscore I Buy Houses. There it uh, is. Mr. <laughs> underscore I Buy Houses. And I'll let Tony. Yeah, on Instagram is Tony B for Profits. I also have a website, which is, again, Tony B for Profits. Um, on there, you can get out of my, out of my books. Uh, I have uh, Wholesaling for Profits, which is basically intro to wholesaling in mm -hmm. real estate. Oh, wow. um, I just wrote a book with Les Brown. Um, basically, uh, it's the power. It's called The Power of Mental Wealth. And then I also have another book called, uh, you know, My Daily Bread. And I donate 100 percent of proceeds to a nonprofit. So, um, you know, just those are things. Those, that's the way to reach me. Um, All right. Otherwise, Home Buyers Texas at Home Buyers Texas. Uh, Instagram as well, yeah, and 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 my book as well. I got uh, my first book was written. It's called I Think Myself Happy. Oh, really? Uh, that was my first book back in 2007. It's a great, great read for kids. Right. But I actually, uh, and you know, the same thing with Tony, wholesale for profits. But I actually got a uh, book coming out, a novel, a decision making novel for kids. Oh wow, it's gonna be dope. It's called Changing Strings. Okay, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be super dope. So uh, y'all just tune in and, and wait for that. As I was doing, no, the cool thing is was I was doing my research um, on both of you gentlemen as far as your brand, your business <clears throat> practices, et cetera. One of the things I was most impressed with was how diversified your investment interests are mm -hmm. and the type of companies that you guys are head up. So if you wouldn't mind, I want to talk a little bit about some of your um, upbringing, who in your family may have motivated you guys to go down this path, because the, I think your story can be inspirational and motivational to those young people who may be sitting in a chair similar to the ones you guys sat in maybe 10 to 15 years ago. So if you don't mind, when we come back from our break, I want to get into a little bit of that. that. Sounds good. That's what's up. Uh, no That's problem. Awesome. Thank you so much, gentlemen. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. We're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors, but we'll be right back. I'm serial entrepreneur Larry W. Brooks, and I'd like to personally invite you to take a closer look at the Pure Hustle clothing brand, along with several books that I've authored to take entrepreneurs, small business owners to the next level of their business. So please take a look at shoplwb.com. How do you survive? Rent to own is not a myth. Turn your rental payment into a down payment with Divi Homes and the Prime Real Estate Network. 
All you need to qualify is a 550 minimum FICO score and $40,000 in annual income. If you've worked your current job for at least the last six months and you can prove that you have $2,000 in the bank, your dream of home ownership can become a reality. Please direct message, call or email the Prime Real Estate Network today and learn more about this exciting new program. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate, visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. This week, co-hosting with me is the lovely managing partner of Trust Tulsa Insurance, powered by Goosehead Insurance, Miss Kristen Olivier Pope. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Here I am. I'm having such a great time um, with these guests. And as you mentioned before, we were going to talk about their upbringing and their past, you know, and everything. Of course, and, we have to. And this is what's really special to me. These guys are from uh, Barrett Station, or as some, and also McNair, mm -hmm. you know, where my father is from. And it's a, it's a historical black community. And we talked earlier about investing mm -hmm. in, in Texas mm -hmm. and about building up the youth and the black community. And if anybody can do it, it's them because it's bred in them. Uh, Barrett Station, if you have some time to research in Crosby, mm -hmm. was a very wonderful um, all-black community that my father grew up in. My grandparents, oh, wow. uh, Henry and Hazel Clay, um, God rest their souls, um, they settled there. And they really built up a wonderful family um, and owned land and rent houses and, you know, were, were really thriving for a very long time mm -hmm. in that community. No, no, and see... I have no idea. I'm not a native Texan, unfortunately, so I had no idea about the history of that area. So what type of stories did your father tell you about his upbringing and how that might have empowered him to be a business person and think outside the box? Yeah. Because that was unusual for that time. Yes. Yeah, like back in, the, uh, in that day, my father's name is Craig Johnson. Hey, Daddy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, he grew up in a, in a community where he saw nothing but successful blacks. You know, he didn't see, you know, white people uh, at all. And he said he, when, when grandma and them would have to go up to Pasadena to buy a washer or dryer, right. you know, or something like that, he'd be like, you know, but right. wealthy. They had everything on right. their own, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. he said really his life when things changed was the forced integration, mm -hmm. you know, when they bust him to Baytown to mm -hmm. go to high school, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and they were doing really, really well. And all of the animosity kind of ruined things, you know? Mm -hmm. But the stories he would tell me about just the wealth and the community and you got in trouble at school and he said, hit and grandma would yell out the window, you know, that boy's acting up in school and you got your butt beat from school all the way yeah. home. Mm -hmm. And the communities, you know, they raise children together. Mm -hmm. And my dad's such a strong uh, person. He's so educated and he has like such good like qualities within him that he definitely passed on to all me and his other three children and I think because of the way he was raised in that community. And no, and that's so interesting because I want to introduce this week's guests, Mr. Robert Destin and Mr. Tony Bryant. They are the founders of Home Buyers Texas. Thank you for sitting in with us this gentleman yes, this week. Honored sure. to be here. Now I would have to ask you the question because <laughs> this history lesson that Ms. Pope um, educated me about, we talked about birthrights a little bit before mm -hmm. we started recording. Right. Mm -hmm. Would you gentlemen being from that community how does it make you feel to know that the generations before you laid a foundation and set an example to put some instill some things in you gentlemen that you might not even know right. because you were just outside. You were born in that area mm -hmm. and could take advantage of being around the people and the resources that that provides. Could you talk a little bit about yeah, your definitely. hometown? Um, like Ms. Pope was saying, man, Barrett is a community of such rich pride and heritage. Uh, Harrison Barrett came and settled and... Uh, was able to build an infrastructure for black people that still stands right now today. Uh, it was so strong. But, um, you know, for myself, um, my grandpa was from, one of them from Barrett, one of them from McNair, so uh, I had the best of both worlds. These are two black towns that were right beside each other. But uh, my grandfather was the fish man. He rode around. He was a hustler out of the truck. Getting he the sold fish. Right, right. And he literally, we, I used to ride with him to Louisiana and watch him stack his truck up, come back to the neighborhood, ride around like the ice cream man, so and nice. everybody flag him down. And know what it was, the right. Fish and, and the seafood. So, um, the original entrepreneur. The original on. entrepreneur, <laughs> man. You know, so um, being from that community really has helped me to ground myself in uh, what we're trying to do and our big picture of who we're trying to help. That's why we do the classes. And one of the, one of the things that me and Tony are about to do <clears throat> is do a free entrepreneur's class for 
young black males. Right. It's going to be a free class that we want them to come to, and they're going to sit and they're going to learn about houses. They're going to learn about uh, tall road. They're going to learn about rentals. They're going to learn about everything, and it's going to be free for them. So. It really hits home to me. No, absolutely, and that's so powerful. And I want to thank you, gentlemen, for committing to do something like that because it's really much needed. I want to ask you, Tony. Yes, sir. Who in your family or close personal circle may have shown you a way or gave you an example of being an entrepreneur or a business person that might have just traveled that path that may be least desirable for a lot of people but might have inspired you to well, for make me, your own way? It's a little bit different, um, you know. I mean, obviously, we come in, we both come from Crosby, Bear Station, um, you know. And I grew up not specifically knowing what I wanted to do or not having mentors. I, I, I knew what I didn't want to do. <laughs> right, right, right. I knew what I wanted to avoid. Right? right. You know, I had family members and friends that were in trouble. Some, you know, in jail, dead, dead, or whatever. So basically, I got a job at 14, 15, 14, 15 years old at. Uh, a local country club, and I just kind of, um, you know, worked all the time, and you know, between that school sports, and um, it just kind of got a got a whole different circle, right? right. You know, I kind of, you know, stole some ideas from the older white man at the country club, and mm-hmm. so forth, and just kind of put myself on a different path, and right. then you know, came home to the to uh, the same environment. You know, I knew I didn't want to. Uh, my, brothers, family members selling drugs and so mm-hmm. forth. I knew what I wanted to avoid, so um, I just took a different route. No, and, was, and I want to um, ask you another question to piggyback off that statement. I thank you so much for your transparency because I'm sure there's going to be several members of our audience right, that's sure. going to relate to that story. <clears throat> so I want to ask you this, Tony. What was that tipping point for you? Where, what happened? What was the event that caused you to look at your life in a different way where you're like, no, I want to control my destiny. I'm going to eat what I kill, and I'm going to trailblaze my own path. Do you, can you pinpoint a tipping point? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think, I think it was really early. At 14 years old, I kind of realized, you know, I, it's not the environment I want. I don't want to struggle. I don't right, want right, right. to have to work two jobs like my mom. You know, I don't want this particular environment. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be – I don't want my kids to grow up with neighbors that are, quite frankly, lazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my mentality just kind of shifted, and I did everything I could to go – in uh, a better direction. I didn't know where I was going. Right. I just knew it was something different than what I had. And, no, it's interesting. I'll ask you this, Robert, too, because um, you guys educate and you mentor so many new and um, aspiring entrepreneurs. What is it in your experience that you see that keeps people on the sideline where they have to come to you for that, that, that nudge to get in the game and run fast? Right. And it just, like Tony said, it's fear. They, they're right. scared to jump. And... You know, so many, so many people have told us that we can't for so long and we, we're held back because of this. I think it's our, it's our mentality. Right. We have to change the mentality, and that's why me and Tony uh, do some of the stuff. We love teaching. Mm-hmm. We, we teach class. We've taught classes of uh, 100 people at a time, and, and the feeling that we get when we leave is like, boy, that was, that was powerful. Right. And, and they're able to go out and actually – do uh, what we taught them. Right. So being, I think it's just a fear uh, in our community that that holds us back from, um, you know. You know, um, no, because education is everything. Um, You don't know what you don't know. Right. Right. And and I think we all as business people, entrepreneurs, we are in a perpetual race to enlighten ourselves, to learn more, because we always know there is another level to everything. So, one of my um, last questions I want to ask you all, and I thank you so much because, A, I know how busy Thursdays are in real estate. <laughs> everybody trying to get them closes done and get Dumb it going. Friday. So everybody can do yeah. Cancun, yeah. Bahamas yeah. for the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. so appreciate you so much, man. But please share one more time for our audience because I want every person who hears the sound of our voices to be able to enroll in that education class that you're sponsoring Definitely. for free. So please, Tony, you or Robert, please share all that with our audience before well, we Well, first of all, the one that's for free will be for the kids. Yep, show okay. love. That's, right, that's we're showing love for the kids. Yeah, that's for the boys. So we're doing that for free. And that's going to be on a monthly basis. Oh, uh, that's going to be a recurring. Yeah. No, that's going to be a recurring thing where wow. we're bringing the kids in uh, and we'll have the, if you follow us on uh, Mr. Underscore I Buy Houses, Tony B. For Profits, we'll have that information on, Absolutely. but that's for the kids now. As far as the grown-ups, it won't be a big cost, but mm-hmm. it'll be something that will be well worth it, I promise you. Absolutely. Uh, but we're going to start our class, I think, in July, Tony. 
Uh, we haven't Probably actually set July. the date, yeah, yeah, but late July, we're going to do our first class again. We kind of slowed down because of the pandemic. Absolutely. But we're definitely going to hold that class where everybody can come and learn the foundation of real estate. Absolutely. If you want to learn the foundation of real estate, you need to be in this class. And as you gentlemen, uh, especially with it being a recurring thing, if you ever need speakers, I commit to being able to Perfect. sit in with you all because Perfect. I think this is such a powerful venture that you gentlemen are taking Appreciate on it. as partners and as business people. Mm -hmm. And I think anyone who can assist, I think that's something that I would urge everyone to do. So, so definitely, definitely count me in if you need you anyone. You can count me in too. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. and, and then when we talk about the fear, you know, yeah. whenever you guys come in and you teach these classes and you show other people that they can do it too, it takes mm -hmm. the fear away. Because yeah. even with myself, my own personal experience, you know, like I had a fear of entrepreneurship and I right. needed mm -hmm. Marcus to hold my hand and show me. So the fact that you guys can do it and then you show people how to do it, yes. I really do thank you. Because some people, you know, they don't always give information out that they know. Right. Mm -hmm. But we're going to continue to learn and teach and show everybody and continue to build up our community nice. one brick at a time and no miss Kristen, because you are sitting in mr larry brooks's seat so i gotta ask you the question that i ask him at the end of every episode so for everyone in the greater Houston area, what is Miss Kristen Olivier Pope doing this weekend if people want to meet, greet, and interact with you, ma'am? Miss Kristen Olivier Pope is going to be hanging out with her son on Saturdays for our pool day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, you might catch me at Parma this weekend. Where? Yes, with a few of my real estate friends. Um, and definitely going to be doing a lot more, um, you know, referral partner, um, appreciation parties, going to be doing some happy hours and things, and the world's reopening. So. Mm -hmm. I don't go out a lot, so when you do see me, it's a treat. But I'll definitely let you guys know, and you can definitely find out where I'm going to be at by following me on Instagram at Kristen Pope Insurance. And also, you can follow our whole agency at Trust Tolson Insurance. And I would be remiss if I did not give a big shout out to Mr. Marcus Tolson as well. <laughs> and your dad for checking us out. <laughs> yes, and daddy as well. Everybody. 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 I want to thank you so much for co hosting with me. Um, thank you. I know, like I said before, for these gentlemen, I know Thursday. Thursdays are busy in the insurance realm as well. Yes. Um, you always bring a certain level of energy when you come on the show that can't be reproduced. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for bringing that your unique brand mm -hmm. of intellect and experience. Thank you to so that much. Chair. So thank, thank you, you so much. much. And I want everyone to reach out to me, you know, for their insurance. I'm a broker, a smart consumer shop. So I can shop 30 companies for you and make sure you have the coverage you need to protect all these things you've worked hard for. Let's protect your investments. Thank Give you so shout. much. I want to thank everyone for tuning in this week. As always, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate, I'm only a text, inbox, or DM away. On behalf of myself, Rick Davis, and the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. And until next Thursday, be blessed.